This is a fingerprint sensor. What it does is you take your finger, you put it onto the sensor, it takes an image of your finger, does a bunch of processing, and then detects whether it's a fingerprint that's already in the system or not. And if it is, you can do something. For example, one thing I want to do later on in this channel, and actually I'll put up a picture on the screen of what it would look like. I have a 3D design for a fingerprint scanner that would be used to open a garage door. So I take my finger, scan it here, if it's matched, it would go and open the garage door, and if the door is currently opened, put your finger on it, and then it will scan your finger and go and close the garage door. There's different types of fingerprint sensors. This is an optical one, and if you look closely, you can kind of see this prism inside. And what's happening is you're shooting out a ray of light, and it's bouncing off the ridges on your finger, which create your fingerprint. Then it bounces off of that and goes back into the sensor, and the sensor uses a bunch of image processing and a couple different algorithms to take a fingerprint and these rays of lights that are coming in and detect some kind of pattern on your finger. I'll put a picture up on the screen. It uses the ridges to kind of get this like zigzag pattern and it registers that to your finger and then your finger to an ID. I'm pretty sure this can hold up to like 100 fingerprints, which is really cool. So the first thing you do is run an enroll program on your Arduino. You scan fingers, whatever you want, and assign them to an ID. Then you go and run the normal program, which is where you can connect it to your garage door or whatever. And then when you scan your finger, it's going to run through the current IDs that have been entered during that enrollment program. And if your finger matches, then it's going to go and open the garage door. In most of these videos, we've went and we've written the code from absolute scratch, but Arduino does have a really nice library and pre-written examples for how to use the sensor. So we're just gonna go through that and then we're gonna to add to it if we want to do anything specific. For example, here's a little sneak peek. I have the Arduino here. I'm gonna connect it to the computer. And you can see every two seconds, the sensor is gonna turn on and scan. Wait two seconds, it's gonna turn on and scan. So if my finger's on there, I turn on yellow while it's searching and then green or red if it's matching a fingerprint or not. So I'm gonna put the right finger on this time. It's gonna scan yellow, red. Put it in a better position maybe. Oh, and there we go. Finally, we get a match. It seems like these aren't totally accurate like our phone sensors because of the way it works because it bounces light and the light has to bounce back exactly like it used to when you first scanned and enrolled a fingerprint versus when your phone, it has more detail in the way it works. So you can kind of like roll your finger right and left. And when you're enrolling a finger on your phone, it asks you to put it on a couple times and try different angles and stuff. This just tells you, hey, put it on and that's it. One thing we can do to get around this is when we 3D print a case, we can make like some bars or something that makes your finger always go in the same exact spot. So you don't sometimes hit it here, sometimes hit it here, sometimes hit it here. We can make like some kind of finger hole that fits perfectly for my thumb and it positions it every time in the right place. So we don't have a bit of inconsistency. One thing you can also do is get a couple scans of your fingers at different angles, register the, each one of those as its own ID. So let's say ten, the first 10 IDs are the same thumb at different angles and then it would match one of the 10 IDs. Right now it's the bare minimum. It takes, you put your finger on the sensor, it takes a picture, processes it, stores it onto the sensor and then that's it. Open up your Arduino editor, go into tools, manage libraries, and then when you get this little search window up, in the top here, just search up finger print. When you search for fingerprint, you're gonna get the option of Adafruit fingerprint sensor library, install that, the latest version, doesn't really matter which one. Go into file, examples, and then down here, we're gonna find Adafruit fingerprint sensor library. And there's a couple different options you can have. Blank, change password, delete, empty, database, enroll, fingerprint, LED control, pass through, or show fingerprint templates. The ones that we're gonna use is enroll and fingerprint. So the first one we're gonna use is enroll. Let's go and open that up. And what's happening in the enroll one is it's connecting to your sensor. It's accessing the flash memory in the sensor. It's gonna go down here. We can see that we're ready to enroll a fingerprint. It's going to activate a function that reads our fingerprint and then it's going to take an image. It has a couple different options. It's either gonna take an image, it's gonna say there's some kind of error, either communication, imaging, or unknown. And then once it takes an image, it's gonna go and save it to your sensor. Right here, we can see that the image is converted and that processing of converting an image is exactly that picture I showed earlier where it scans the ridges of your fingers and creates some kind of pattern and links that to your finger and to an ID. So once that's done, we can see at the bottom here where we can see, okay, converted, creating model for a number, and then that ID is gonna get stored right down here. It might be a little complicated. I recommend you take a minute to go and read through this whole program and understand each step. 
but I'm not gonna do that right now. Right now we're just focused on getting a fingerprint on here. So go ahead and upload that to your Arduino. And once that's done, open up Tools, Serial Monitor. Once you run your program and you open up your serial manager, this is what you'll see right here. It's just going through the process. So the first thing is turning on the program, checking if a sensor exists, checking some settings and things that you can change throughout the program here. And then at the bottom, you can see ready to enroll a fingerprint. Please type in the ID number from one to 127 if you wanna save this finger. So we're gonna go here in the top in the search bar and type in number one. And it's gonna start searching and you can see that your sensor turns on and there's a big red light. I'm gonna take my finger, Put it on here, hold it. We can see image taken, image converted, remove finger. Place the same finger again. We're gonna pick up the sensor, try and place it in the same area. Boom, stored. So now we can see prints matched, ID one, stored, ready to enroll a fingerprint. And you can go and add as many as you want or as 127 worth of fingers. Now that we have enrolled a finger into the sensor, the next step is to go and activate the sensor normally and see if we can get a match on any of the IDs that are currently stored on this sensor. So we're gonna go again into File, Examples, all the way down to Fingerprint Sensor Library, and let's go and grab Fingerprint. So I took this file, this fingerprint file, and I made really a couple changes to it, nothing crazy. I told it to turn on LEDs depending on the situations. So here we're running a function called Finger Search, if we found a print, it's going to run this. If we have an error, it's going to run this. If we did not find a match, it's going to run this. And then another and an error. Oh, and then also at the top right here, when it initially starts searching for a finger, before it actually finds a finger and then converts it and does all the processing, when it just starts looking for fingers, I have it turn on this yellow LED. So let's go and upload this to the Arduino quickly. Now we can see here we have a yellow LED, a green LED, and a red LED. When I grab the sensor and I put my finger on it, it's gonna turn yellow and then it's gonna go green or red depending on if I match or not. So I'm gonna put the wrong finger on. So it's gonna go yellow and red because it's the wrong finger. Now let's put my finger on it again. Boom, we matched. So now I went yellow and green. Now where I put that line to turn on the green LED right down over here, found a print match. You can put anything in here. You can make a function that opens up a garage door. You can technically, if you knew how to do it, you can connect your Arduino to your car and even have it start your car based off of your fingerprint. Would not recommend that. These sensors aren't uh, the best security in the world, but they're still pretty good. You can have it unlock a door to your room, or you can have, let's say, the closet door locked with this, or you can make yourself a safe and use this kind of technology to go and lock it. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more stuff using the specific sensor, I think this sensor itself can have a whole series. We can put it on literally everything. We can make doors unlock with it. We can make it turn on. Let's say like you want to make coffee and to make coffee, you had to use this fingerprint sensor. Like how cool would that be? If you have any ideas in chat, any meme robots you want to make with this, let me know. I'd love to do that. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and we'll see you in the next one.